Hi, it's Chris from Driver Training, and in today's video, we're covering the Telford driving test route that includes following the road signs and road markings for Priors Lee and Telford Town Centre. Now, as we come out of the uh, driving test centre on Horton Wood and turn left, you'll find that as you're going along, the first thing you need to be aware of is the change of speed limit sign, which we've got ahead of us, which now lets us know that it, we're going into a 50 zone. So if it's safe and you're able to do it, it's just a case of building up the speed towards it and following the road ahead. Now in the distance, we can see our first sign, which tells us the lane that we'll need. So at this point, they'll be asking you to follow the signs for A442 South and other routes, which you can see from that board is middle and right hand lane. So choice of two lanes, we pick the left hand one, which equates on this occasion to that middle lane. Something to be aware of at this point is you can see from those road signs we're coming into a 30 zone. So you've got to be at 30 for those signs. Looking at the board on the right still tells us middle lane is A442 South. So now it's just the case of following that middle lane around, not crossing the white line and just following it to where it tells us to go, which we can see again on the floor a442 south as the left lane says trench now as we come down towards the traffic lights the lane split but if we look ahead we can see we've got left lane middle lane and right lane so we just keep in that middle lane and keep following it this is the next part where people fail so often they see the 60s remember it's not 60 until you've gone past that sign. Don't accelerate before it. Now our first board coming up, we can see says Dorley, Ketley and Oakengates, but it doesn't say Priors Lee. So just like on your driving lessons, when we say to you, if we don't ask you to turn left or right, we're expecting you to follow the road ahead. The same is true when following the signs on the independent section. If it doesn't say come off at the next exit, then in other words, it's just saying keep going straight. So that's what we want to do. This now is the sign that causes people a lot of problems. You can see it says Dorley, Ketley and Oakengates. But what everybody does is look at where it says Priorsley and presume that means it's saying get in the right hand lane. So they move over into the right hand lane at this point. Well, remember, that's not saying that. That's just saying don't come off at the slip road. Keep following the road ahead. The danger with moving into the right hand lane at that point is one, if the road is clear, then you're meant to be in the left hand lane and you'll fail your test. But secondly, if there are faster moving cars or you're not quite at the speed limit, the danger is the cars around you will begin to undertake you, which they shouldn't. But the reason they're doing that is because you're in the right hand lane holding everyone up. So all this sign means is stay in that lane and just keep following it straight ahead. It's worth remembering just as a rule for every slip road going off, normally there's a slip road coming on on the other side of the bridge. So again, to just be aware of the traffic around you at this point and think, well, what if something is coming down? Will I need to slow down? build up speed or move over and if we're looking we can see the car coming down but we're not getting any closer to it so therefore we carry on as we are we've got nothing to do the road sign on the left just reminds us it's still 60 and in the distance we've got another road sign coming up so we look 
it says Priors Lee is still left hand lane. So we're okay. We just keep in this lane still and follow it. It's just being aware if there are slower moving vehicles, you may need to evaluate whether it's worth trying to overtake knowing that that sign is telling you to keep in the left hand lane. If it is quite slow and you've got time to get round it, fine. But if you're unsure because you might be a bit closer to the exit, then it's better not to. So Priorsley is still left hand lane. It's just worth bearing in mind because it says get in lane at that point. This is where a lot of cars will move over into the right hand lane or vice versa. If the cars are in the right hand lane, they realize they need to get in the left for Priorsley. So you just need to be aware of them moving across in front of you. The green board confirms Priorsley is still left lane, but here's the point where people again get it wrong. This highlighted sign on the left tells us there's a bend coming up and the recommended speed is 30 miles an hour. Now, as we've said in our other videos, the advice signs, the oblong boxes, don't always mean you need to be doing that speed. Remember, this is an advice sign for cars just as much as 40 ton lorries. So you need to look and assess the situation to see, do I need to follow that advice? Well, as we come down in this case, we not only need to follow the advice, we need to kind of go a bit slower than the 30. And there's two main reasons for that. As we approach this bend, can you see the bank of black and white chevrons? Well, remember, the more black and white chevrons there are, the sharper the bend is. Also, the furthest point of our bend where the white car is, isn't opening up and going away from us. So we know it's still a very sharp bend. And that's why that barrier on the right there is always brand new because people come up too fast, they turn the wheel and it's like being in a sled in the snow. You might face one direction, but gravity is just gonna take you another way. So at this point, we'd really wanna slow it down. Now, if we slow the clip down, you notice the space between the black and white chevrons increases we can see round to the white car and in front of the car. So we now know the bend carries on. It's just not as sharp as it was. So it's really important to look and assess what the road markings and the road signs tell us. At the end here, it tells us that all traffic has to go to the left. So that means there is no way of turning right and that's going to affect what we need to do next. So because we can't turn right, it means we've got to go down to the roundabout, go all the way around it and back up on the other side, which is where that van on the right is coming from. Now, the second sign on the left there, the one furthest away, tells us exactly that. For Priors Lee, you need to go all the way around and back on yourself. But how do we know what exit that is? Because we might not have done this roundabout before. Well, if we look at the roundabout board closest to us on the left there, it tells us which exit we need. Now, the first stub you see clearly says it's a no entry. That's not an exit. That's the slip road from the dual carriageway. So we need exit number five. So Ketley Bank is number one, Ketley's number two, Oakengate's number three, Whitchurch is four. So to come all the way around and back on ourselves is exit number five. So as we come down, it's just worth remembering to do our mirrors and signal. Now, as we come up to this roundabout again, don't make the mistake of thinking this exit on the left is an exit because it's not. 
that's the slip road and we know that because if you look at how hard it would be to get down there you would have to drive past it and then almost turn back on yourself whereas if you look at the first exit in front of us there we can see that would be easy so that's exit number one this is exit number two Oaken Gates is exit number three. Dual carriageway exit number four. So remember mirrors and signal, then move across. As we come round onto this road, looking at the lamppost, there's no repeater signs, no 40 or 50 signs. So we know for a fact that this is still a 30 mile an hour road. And now as of April 2024, they've opened up the road with the new junction here. Well, the new lights at the junction, which are actually ones that you don't need to press the button. There's a new style where you just put your hand underneath it and that actually activates it. So there's a first for Telford. So as our lights change then, and we carry on up the road, Although it's a big, wide, empty road, we're remembering there's no repeater signs anywhere. Therefore, this is still 30 miles an hour. And again, if you're not concentrating, it is so easy to get up to 35 or more. And of course, that then is the end of your test. As we come down this road, they may ask you, depending which test route you're on, to now follow the signs for Telford Town Centre. We can see in the distance on the left, the roundabout board. So although part of it is missing somehow, we can see that it is right fourth exit. That's one, exit number two, exit number three. So as always, mirrors and signal, and off we come at exit number four. Now the bit people miss are these signs here telling us it now becomes 40. So if it's open and safe to, we want to try and build up our speed above that 30 because remember you can be failed for going too slow but now this is the next part where people fail because having got to 40 they promptly miss these signs which tell us the speed limit is now back to 30 and they go through 35 36 looking at the roundabout board we can see telford town center is third exit that stub that you can see isn't actually an exit. That's telling us because it runs parallel that that is just the dual carriageway coming from Maidley and Sutton Hill. So that's actually the slip road coming off. That is not an exit for the roundabout. And as we come down, we look at the road marking and that confirms town centre is indeed left-hand lane, third exit. So we hope this video has helped you with your driving test here in Telford. My name's Chris from Driver Training Limited. Don't forget to leave us a comment, share and subscribe to our channel for more useful hints and tips. So remember, as always, Keep well, drive safely, and we'll see you all again in our next video.